Let's go. This is my final uh, project for the year. It's basically a homemade sensor. It's made out of tin foil. Uh, I got the idea from a guy on the internet who was using three of these kind of sensors to do kind of an X, Y, and Z coordinate. So he had a 3D sensor. I wasn't very much uh, interested in the 3D aspect of it. I was more so interested in just uh, the sensor itself and making it and seeing what different applications you can put it to. It's really handy because it's made out of tin foil. You can make it dirt cheap and like if one for one sensor you need like uh, two resistors and some coaxial cable and you can you can make loads of these things. But uh, yeah, I've basically got hooked up to a Max MSP patch to control two things. It's controlling tempo of uh, a synthesizer, which is spurting out random values, just giving you a nice glitchy effect. And it's also controlling a filter. Uh, Overall, it's not very complicated. It's basically the thin foil is working as a capacitance and a uh, capacitor. <laughs> it senses the distance of your hand in relation to the thin foil. There are some problems. If you get too close to it, it will randomly go to zero. But uh, it's a very narrow range. But it's for such a cheap and inexpensive sensor. It's pretty interesting. So let's take a look at it in Max MSP. So there you can tell we have a fixed tempo and I've adapted the sensor so I can adjust tempo. And I've also adapted it to include a filter so you can control a filter going across, uh, across frequencies uh, just like this. still affects the pitch. So overall not uh, very impressive, but uh, it's for something so cheap and you can adapt it in a lot of ways, have several of these things, and no light problems like an LDR to do ambient light and a lot cheaper than Sona, so pretty cool. Thank you.